Hey, this is Matt from Investapont. Today is Tuesday, January 2nd, 2021. And yesterday we saw the markets bounce off of these recent lows. So uh, yesterday was the first trading day of the month. We saw a gap up from what was a 10-day low close on the last trading day of the month. And that gap up continued higher throughout the session. We didn't quite close at the highs. We pulled back a little bit there at the close, but we ended up with a good size up day following that 10 day low close. And this morning in the overnight session, we are continuing higher. So uh, we are currently trading up above yesterday's highs. We're kind of getting some more follow through on this bounce like pattern uh, where we're coming off of these recent 10 day lows. So what I wanna do today is take a look at that pattern, see what has happened historically when you get this bounce from the 10 day low close and then continue higher in the overnight session. So let me set it up. We're gonna be looking at all four instruments. The setup is gonna be based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time and exiting at the close. The opening filter we're gonna be using this morning is open above the prior day high. We are currently trading just above it and it does make a bit of a difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that versus just gap up. If by chance we end up pulling back more into the open, you can always change this into a gap up in the, in the prior day range if you wanna uh, zone in exactly on it. But right now we're trading above the prior day high. So I'm just gonna stick with that. Next, I'm gonna go into the price patterns and I'm gonna create this bounce like pattern uh, where you're getting the up day after the 10 day low close. So that is available in our new lows section. I'm just gonna grab it from the active today uh, list over here and it is down the second to last one. And the pattern is day after an up day following a 10 day low close. So that means Friday was a 10 day low close. Monday we had that uh, nice green candlestick there that creates the up day following the 10 day low close. Lastly, I'm gonna put it in a similar market environment where you are below a 10, but above a 200 day simple moving average and then click view results. And here we go. These are the results of going long at the open, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, exiting at the close, 4.15 p.m. Eastern time, when you open above the prior day high and the prior day was an up day that was following a 10 day low close. So it's a bounce like pattern. This is taking place below a 10 day moving average, but above a 200 day simple moving average. Historically, dating back to 2003, this pattern has happened 69 times in the S&P, 55 in the NASDAQ, 61 in the Dow, and 42 in the Russell. If we take a look at the win rates, the S&P is coming in the strongest here. 61% of those 69 samples have ended up in what would be a green candlestick for the daily session, so closing above the opening print that day. Uh, the NASDAQ, 56%, the Dow similar, 57%, and Russell not far off there at 55%. So all of them just a touch favored with the S&P being the strongest at 61% on those. None of them have weak win rates, and none of them are even quite 50-50. They're all at least a, a bit above that. So all of those a little bit favored. Let's take a look at the average win, average loss. Average loss is a touch bigger in the S&P. Um, it is larger in the NASDAQ by a decent amount. A uh, little bit larger average loss in the Dow and pretty similar in size there in the Russell. So um, looks like larger average losses for the NASDAQ and the Dow. Russell and ES are a little bit closer as far as average win and average loss goes. There's not a huge difference between them. But historically, uh, the odds for the green candlestick have just been slightly favored here um, for this pattern. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you next time.